I want to be a master at dialogue. I want to be able to talk to anyone. And I want to be able to control the conversation and lead the conversation. I need and be quiet when it's necessary. To listen when it is appropriate. To speak when I am called upon. I want conversation to flow. And I want to to find new meanings and, and discover new ideas and get things done in conversation. And that's hard, right? To be a master at dialogue, to be a master at conversing with another human being, and especially these days, because we don't exactly get the same amount of practice we would have 20 years ago if we were, you know, conversing back then. But a huge part of conversation, a tip that I believe will impact you guys, that you can take with you. And that's the thing about a lot of videos. You, you watch a video, and there's a lot of shit going on. I'm sure, guys, I do this to you all the time. And there's not really a main takeaway. But I want to kind of leave you with a main takeaway, maybe even a phrase that you can apply to your conversations. Now, during a conversation, you'll see that people in a crucial conversation, in something that needs to be talked about, in the difficult conversations, people will get fearful. And when there's fear of a loss, when there's fear of uncertainty, then people will move into either violence or they will withdraw. It's kind of like the fight or flight system that we all have. When we see a predator, when we see scarcity, when we see fear, the fight or flight kicks in. We either run or we fight. Right? The same thing with conversations. Difficult conversations with your parents, with your girlfriend, with your spouse, with, with your neighbor. So one of the main takeaways that I got was that whenever you recognize a withdrawing or an attack, it is, here's the difference, you can either resort to a taking back, withdrawing back, or you can go to a place where I'm going to try and make this person feel safe. Because when people feel safe, they're not going to run. When people feel safe, they're going to be able to listen to you. They're going to hear what you have to say. It's only when people feel fear that they're going to try to attack you, that they're going to withdraw and you silence. And you see, when your girlfriend attacks you, it's easy to say, to take, our, why are you so angry? Why are you acting like this as an attack on me? Oh, I'm not angry. But, I mean, that's not congruent with how you actually are. So, when you hear the emotions, when you hear the emotions in a conversation come up, it's so important, guys. I mean, this is a fight against what evolution has brought us to eons, right? Millions of years. But to actually stop and then like withdraw to a place of, okay, I'm going to make this person feel safe. Because I can see that they are in a place of fear and uncertainty and they don't know what to do other than resort to violence or resort to withdrawing, to silence. So I'm going to try my hardest from now on when I am, am in a conversation that is crucial. In a difficult place in talking with another person, I'm going to try and make that person feel so safe. Because so many times in my life I've felt attacked and I become an attacker. Or someone feels withdrawn from me and, and I go out them and I will bash them or I withdraw myself. But now I know all I got to do is make someone feel safe. And they will listen to you. They will respect you. And, and you will, your esteem will just go up because you know that you're doing the right thing. It is our job to make the other person feel like they are safe. Remember that. Thank <laughs> you.